super excited. Back with your favorite Asian. That's me, right? Favorite. You are my favorite Asian. We are making coffee gym today. We're gonna make Korean beef stew. It's a very rustic party dish. I'm gonna put my spin on it. Okay, here are three words to describe coffee gym. Delicious meat candy. Instead of short ribs, we're gonna use a whole piece of uh, chuck, which we did dice. Koreans, for some reason, they like to soak all the blood out. What we did is the classical way you do a stew. Just pat dry it, add a ton of salt, and then get some color on all sides. Caramelize. We also deglaze the pan with a little bit of stock and it's simmering behind us right now. This might be like a one, two, three hour affair. You can do it in an instant pot. You can do it in a pressure cooker. I love doing it on the stove top, low and slow. Traditional the way. The best things in life come when you wait. Is that what they say? Just with broth right now, what we need to do is get the uh, coffee gym flavors in there. So we're gonna make kind of the sauce or the marinade that's gonna mix with it. So are you you're excited? You're ready? Can you help me out? Are you gonna? I'm excited about eating oh, okay. three hours. Well, you're gonna have to put some work in. For the marinade, we're gonna need about like half an onion, if it's large or one very small onion. We're gonna need uh, one apple and we're using Fuji apples today. Traditionally, it'd be Korean pears, uh, but Fuji apple is fine. Add the uh, onions and the apples first. We have eight cloves of garlic. Wow, that's a lot of garlic. We have one tablespoon of ginger. We need about six tablespoons of soy sauce and you know, we're gonna taste along the way. Okay, so we have about three tablespoons of that sugar. And all I'm, of it? All of it. And I'm actually using uh, erythritol with a little stevia today. You can obviously use sugar. You're gonna need about a tablespoon of mirin or rice vinegar. And we're using rice vinegar today. Half a teaspoon of your favorite, yes, gochugaru. One teaspoon of sesame seed oil. Add a little bit of that instant coffee. That's about half a teaspoon. A little bit of black pepper. Mm. A little bit of salt. All right, can you do the honors? Yes, sir. I'm gonna give it a quick taste, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a lot of water. A little bit more soy sauce. Oh, okay. Just add that. Mm, good. As far as root vegetables, we have carrots and Korean radish, which we just did big chunks with because this is, once again, a very rustic, hearty uh, dish. Also, kombu, and we'll add that during the last hour. Uh, I ran a cafe for a little while, so I'm like good at making sandwiches. And I grew up in the kitchen because my mom, she had restaurants. Uh, so, you know, I was always just this little kid in the back doing homework, uh, trying to sneak into the kitchen and her shooing me away because, you know, deep fryers, it's not a safe environment. So what does your mom think of your cooking? She hates it. Holy shit, everything is like an opinion. Like this needs more salt. Too much sugar on this. Maybe a little bit of that. <laughs> so, but. That's how we get better. And that's probably why I see a therapist now. It's been about three-ish hours, something like that. Everything's uh, nice and tender, so why don't you help me put it into a bowl? Can you grab that spoon? Yes. And then yeah, maybe if you, you can just... It. All right, yeah, so we can garnish this a little bit with some... It already smells so good. Sesame seeds, probably. Some spring onions. You can serve this with rice, maybe kimchi on the side. The only thing I'm worried about is the taste. So you are going to be the one that either makes me happy or breaks my heart, so. I'm going to be your guinea pig? It's just calling me. He's calling it looks me. so tender. Yeah. Mm, so good. It's sweet. Now I get why people call it candy. Meat candy, yeah. All right. Not bad. Really happy that I, I was able to share a piece of uh, my childhood with you 
today. So thanks for watching this video. Please try it out, like, subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your favorite Persian, your favorite Asian, your favorite Caucasian is off camera. <laughs> what do you think of Yaz when you walk together? Look, listen, Yaz is standing next to the camera and she's looking for someone to feed her soul with compliments right now. Am I gonna do that? Of course, because she intimidates the shit out of me. That's what I think of Yaz. So what do I think? I think she's fantastic. Let is this good? Is this over? This is like our 50th cut fucking David Fincher. I just want that. <laughs>